Example 2, another river crossing question. Alright, now this time around, the river is 80 meters wide with parallel banks flowing at the speed of 3.6 meters per second. Okay, boat crosses from a point A on one bank to another point B on the opposite bank 60 meters downstream. Speed of the water, no, I mean speed of the boat in still water is 4 meters per second. Da 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 da. Okay, now remember what we do? The first step, we always get the information that we need. Okay, now river is flowing at 3.6 meters per second. So, first thing we know, well, the VW is equal to 3.6 meters per second. Okay, write that down so that you know you can easily get the information you need later on. Okay, the speed of the, wa the boat in still water is 4. Okay, so still water, speed of boat in still water means is the speed of the boat relative to the water. So it is 4 meters per second. Now bear in mind okay, um, that this is also the steering. Okay, so what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for the value of theta. What is theta? Theta is the angle made, okay, by the steering ve vectors, okay, by the by the steering vectors, uh, okay, to the bank, okay. So so it is um. So next thing, of course, we want to figure out how it looks like, isn't it? So we have a river. So let's just try to construct a river here. Okay, good. So we have a point A. Alright, we're trying to cross over to point B. Now, uh, you need to then decide which way your river flows, right? Okay, so let us say that our river flows in this direction. Okay, so uh, the point B is 60 meters downstream. So, of course, uh, means that the point B cannot be directly across, isn't it? So, uh, well, this directly across thing is not the point B. So, point B has to be somewhere here point B and uh, the distance between this all right uh, this point to point B will be of course 60 meters okay so this is it so this is our basic setup we are at A we are going to B and the river is flowing down this way okay now what now remember what we said about um, aiming now so this is we are, we are trying to go from point A to point B right so this will be of course our actual vector so this is our VB Okay, simple. Alright, good. I hope you are following so far. Now, in order for you to be able to reach here, of course, you got to aim, right? So, how are you going to aim? Alright, you're going to aim somewhere to the left of B. Okay, so you aim somewhere here. Okay, so this will be represented by our VBW. Alright, now, then some of you may ask, hey, you know, why must I aim this way? I mean, come on, can't I aim here and the water push me down here? I still get a triangle. Okay. Now, in fact, this is a very good question. This kind of question, uh, uh, I mean, this this will come out when we are especially especially when we're dealing with uh, sine rule. Okay. So we have the case of ambiguity because uh, why this angle can be obtuse or acute? You see. So uh, how do we decide? Okay. A lot of times um, we don't need to actually, you know, think into, into, in terms of ambiguity and all. We just need to look at the value of the speed that we have. Okay, to give us a rough guide of uh, how we're going to construct a triangle. Now, remember that, um, you know, the vectors has to be to a certain degree of scale. Okay, so when we draw a triangle, it has a certain degree of scale. It's not, we don't have to draw actual, exact drawing, uh, scale drawing, no, no. But at least a 4 meters, I mean, a 4, magnitude of 4, must look like a magnitude of 4 when you compare with magnitude of 3.6. Okay, so that's exactly what's wrong with this triangle, isn't it? Well, if this were to be your aiming vector, so this has to be 4, right? 4, magnitude of 4, right? 4 meters per second. Now, this has to be 3.6. Okay, now. 3.6 and 4 should be more or less about the same length, right? So as you can see from this picture, if this were to be the picture, something is seriously wrong about this, okay? Because the 3.6 cannot be so short, or your 4 cannot be so long, okay? So so that is why uh, it is not this way, and it has to be this way, because the water, the vector representing the water, which is this, okay, will have to be about the same length as your VBW. Okay, has to be about the same length because it's only 3.6 and 4. So the the difference is actually very minute. 
Okay, so this is uh, our water. So this is V W. Okay, so I hope you are you are good at this because if not, um, you know when we do when we are solving the triangles later on, we will encounter some kind of problems when you especially when you're using sine rule. Okay, so I I I hope uh, you all are familiar with uh, the problem with sine rule. Okay. Alright, anyway, let's just move on. Okay, so we have the, 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 the river, we have the triangle constructed, we know that, aha, I'm trying, I'm trying to uh, come from this point A to point B, and therefore this is my actual path. You know, I'm aiming this way up so that the water can push me downwards, and this is the actual path, this is my aiming, and this is the water. Okay, so it makes sense. Good, the next thing, remember the check, makes sense. Good. Alright, now, what are you looking for? Theta. So, A, eh, where is theta, right? Theta is the angle, okay? Steer in a direction making an angle theta to the bank. So the steering will make an angle theta to the bank. Okay, so this is our theta. And now what? Okay, we're supposed to solve for theta. So this is theta, and of course, well, this has to be theta as well. Right? So uh, we fill in the blanks. We have to put in the, uh, the values, right? So for this vector, this is 4 meters per second. Remember to put in the um, units meters per seconds before you confuse it with distance later on. Okay, so for our uh, VW, okay, so this will be 3.6 meters per seconds. Okay, looks a squeezy, a little squeezy. Uh, apologize for that. Okay, hopefully you can draw better diagrams than me. Okay, so we know that this, we know this, and what else do we know? Ah, that's all. Right? That's all on speed. Okay? So, we figure that, okay, now, okay, no, now we have a trouble. Why? Right? Because we, we had, have, haven't got uh, an angle inside the triangle. Remember, the key to solving any triangle is to get an angle inside the triangle. Right now, we don't have any. We only know that this is theta and this is what we want to find. This is the unknown. So, we don't have any angle that we can make use of. Okay? So, this is when uh, we got to look even closely at the kind of information that's given to us. Okay, we are given even more information. We know that the river width, okay, the width of the river is 80 meters. So therefore, from this point down to this point, okay, this is 80 meters. I'm using another color, a red color, to represent distance. So you won't confuse distance with speed later on. Okay, so this 60 meters should be in red, okay? Doesn't matter. So you know that this is uh, 80 meters and you know that this is 60 meters, isn't it? So from here, this is a right angle triangle. Ah, so let's call this angle alpha, shall we? Okay, so we know that if we were to tangent alpha, okay, that will be 80 over 60, opposite over adjacent, isn't it? So therefore, alpha, using a calculator again, will give us the answer of 53.13 degrees. Okay, now what does, you know, how, how does this alpha comes in helpful, handy, you know? Okay, well, at least now we have an angle inside the triangle, isn't it? Okay, now we know that, you know, this is alpha, this is 53.13, so therefore this has to be 53 point one three degrees as well okay so now we have an angle inside the triangle we are in business okay we can try to solve for theta okay how are we going to find theta well you study the triangle and you figure hey, huh. well we've got this angle now and uh, you're looking for this angle you know that this side is four this side is three point six you know you still can't find theta directly isn't it Okay, so, uh, yes, the fact of the matter is that you, you can't find theta directly. So, you have to make use of this angle called beta. Okay, this this angle in between called beta. How come? Well, you use sine rule. Okay, so using sine rule, you know that if you were to 4 over sine 53.13 degrees is equivalent to 3.6 over sine beta. Okay, so from here you cross multiply inverse sine, get your beta, you get beta as the answer of 46.05 degrees. Now, why is this important? Well, come on, think about it. If you've got beta and you got this as 53.13 degrees, of course you can find theta, isn't it? Okay, so theta will be simply, alright, 180 degrees minus away 46.05 degrees. And then minus some more, 53.13. So 
So from here, we'll get our theta. Okay, from the calculator, you get it as uh, 80 point eight two degrees. So that will be our theta, and that will be for our first part A of the answer. Okay, part A's answer. There we go. All right, now let's go to part B. We're supposed to find the true speed of the boat. Okay, so uh, I hope you know by now that this four meters per second is not the true speed. Okay, it's the steering speed. It's the speed in still water. So there's no still water to talk about. So this won't be your true speed. This is just, you know, if there is still water, you will be traveling at least speed. But so there is no still water. Okay, so let us uh, take a look at the diagram again. Okay, we need more space for sure. Okay, let's take a look at the diagram. Now, true speed, of course, represented by our VB, this vector here. So we shall just let the speed be x, shall we? Okay, x meters per seconds okay so represented by this vector so to find this um, x now you know it won't be too much of a problem because you have all the angles inside the triangles now and you have two sides so to find x is no problem you can use the sine rule you can use the cosine rule but uh, I always advise my students to use cosine rule more than sine rule uh, why because cosine rule totally uh, do not does not have the problem of uh, ambiguity Okay, remember we talk about sine rule having uh, two answers. Okay, yeah, that that's the problem with sine rule. Okay, so we'll use cosine rule. Okay, so cosine rule x square will be equal to 4 square plus 3.6, there's a point here, 3.6 square minus away 2 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3.6 cosine um, theta. Okay, so theta is... 80.82 degrees. So again, from your calculator's work, all right, you can get to x as uh, 4.94 meters per second. All right, so this will be the actual speed of your boat. No, are we talking about boat here? Yeah, yeah, we're talking about boat here. Okay, can all right. But bear in mind, um, having this. Um, Speed is not enough because velocity means we have to find uh, bearing as well. Okay, so where is the bearing? All right, so let me change another color to highlight to you where the bearing is. The bearing, of course, is this is our our actual vector that we are interested in, right? So the bearing, okay, the arrow is in this direction. Okay, so the bearing will be, of course, from here draw a north up, this will be the bearing that we are actually looking for, this green color angle here. Okay, how are we going to look for that? Okay, well, we use our Dua Castle again, right, right angle triangle again. Okay, so if you look at this right angle triangle here, right, you will come to realize that, hey, this green color angle here, okay, is actually 90 degrees minus with the alpha, isn't it? Alright, because this has to be perpendicular, so it is 90 degrees here. So if you know alpha, you should naturally know your bearing. Okay, the green color angle. So uh, in this case, our required bearing is actually not that difficult, right? Isn't it? It's just 90 degrees minus away our alpha, which is 53.13 degrees. And that will give us the answer of 36 point. 87 degrees. Okay, now bear in mind that bearing we always must uh, have three digits, so therefore uh, add in a zero in the front of your 36. Okay, so this is part B. There we go. Alright, last part the time taken for the crossing. Okay, time taken for the crossing as per what we have mentioned, or rather what we have, uh, what we know right all the way uh, from primary school. Okay, is the fact that time is equal to the distance divided by the speed. Okay, so we do know the actual speed that we're traveling at, right? So the actual speed was, um, we found it here. Okay, uh, 4.94. This is our actual speed that we're traveling at. So the next thing we need to find is, of course, the actual distance that we are, we are, we are actually covering. Okay, so by looking at this triangle, triangle, you realize that you've got the distance of 60 here and the distance of 80 here. So to get this, green color, the AB distance, is actually not that difficult, isn't it? You can use the Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so you do know that the actual distance, so for part C, okay, the distance traveled, okay, will be equal to um, 
you know, the square root of um, 60 square plus 80 square. Alright, so of which you will get the answer of um, 100 meters. Okay, so this is 100 meters, the actual distance that we are traveling uh, at, uh, we have actually covered, okay, 100 meters. So time, to find the time will be simply 100 meters, divided by the actual speed, which is 4.94 meters per second. That will give us the answer of 20.24 seconds. Okay, so that will be the time we need to cross the river.